Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue here tonight and we move to a boxing exhibition fight. This was a late change due to a car accident, but there are two gentlemen that you know very well. Introducing first, making his debut this evening, he fights out of Sparta MMA. Make some noise for David Coxon. And now, for his opponent, fighting out of Sparta MMA, Dinko Pelic. Well, Dean, we've had a lot of unexpected events here tonight. The Beast from the East 2.0 has taken over England. We had snow, we had wind, we had all sorts of problems, including, I'm told, some car problems for the fighters coming down, but never mind that, Dinko and David have stepped in here to fight each other in an exhibition fight tonight. Both guys new to boxing, they've got experience in other martial arts, gonna be an interesting one for sure. Especially because they know each other here, so I'd be interested to see if they devise a plan on the fly to counter their opponent's style. So a touch of gloves. David Coxa, Dinko Pellich. Late change due to car problems and exhibition fight boxing is the rule set. Both men very gifted. Had planned for different opponents here tonight, but should be an interesting one nonetheless. And Dinko keeping the guard nice and high, working the jab to set up the power hands. And he's feeling out with that left. There we go, there's the right hand. I was about to say, he's feeling out with that left and that right hand's gonna come straight down the pipe. So Dinko, 29 years of age, five foot 10. A veteran of mixed martial arts, but a guy who's no rookie, obviously the sweet science, you train in that discipline when you compete in MMA. Yeah, Dinko is no stranger to the cage, and this is mixed martial arts people, so Dinko crosses all the boxes and makes sure he really devises an excellent game plan in each martial art when he brings it to the table. Nice left hook there. Left hook, off the jab, nice connection here. David's Dinko got some doing nice a great movement. job so far. David's got some nice head movement there, Chris, but he's just keeping his hands a bit low for my liking and he's eating these shots. And Cox had really said my speed and stamina will be the difference here tonight. I think it's very intriguing when you see a guy who's clearly got a weight disadvantage come in against a guy and utilize that head movement, popping jab. Body, body, head there for Dinko in reply. Excellent combination from Dinko. And when he gets into the striker range, the danger zone, you'll notice Dinko is the one that's pulling his hands up to his head to protect that head. And David, very comfortable to eat those uppercut left hook combinations, and they'll take his toll after a while, Chris. Big connections there from Dinko. Working that uppercut beautifully, and Cox had unable to get the evasive maneuvers going. Dinko really finding head space beautifully there, Dean. Dinko listening to his coach there. They're calling for the uppercuts. Let's see if he can implement that. Check hook there from Dinko. Lands just at the bell. One in the books. Some nice technique being displayed by Dinko. Keeps the hands nice and high. And you'll notice that he dropped his left arm. So he'll leave the shoulder out there for that shoulder roll technique. He's trying to set up the right hand. Either the rear uppercut. Or the straight right, power shot. So we are on the road to the co-main and the main here. Obviously a quick change of opponents here tonight. Unforeseen circumstances. We said it during the walkout. For those of you guys and gals tuning in here, the uh, beast from the east is back. Probably not a news flash. But what that did is was it impacted some of the travel arrangements here tonight. Unforeseen events. Shall we say, shall we quote nationalrail.co.uk, adverse weather conditions? We'll call it adverse weather conditions, slippery conditions. But uh, both guys have stepped up, teammates, they know each other, they train together, and they're putting on a showcase thus far. Credit to these two fighters. I mean, they're friends almost certainly. And to do damage on your friend in the display for these fans here is, is something to be admired, Chris. 
So Dinko dropping that lead hand a little bit. Some upper body fainting and faking. Nice, very, very good stuff. It seems that David's getting a little bit more comfortable here and loosening up a bit, Dean. Oh, but Dinko lands in reply. David using a lot, utilizing that head work, but he's putting too much weight on his back foot, Chris. Makes it very difficult when he leans back to move from those counter shots. Nice counter left hook there from Dinko. Snap jab there from Dinko. Coxhead looking to lead with that left hook. Beautiful head work there by David. I'd like to see him implement the overhand right in this position, Chris, especially when Dinko drops that lead hand. And Coxhead able to roll underneath that lead hand of Dinko, but... It's a tricky game of cat and mouse when you're dipping your head in and out like that against someone who does have that power advantage. And of course, the physical advantages of being able to bully your way around inside the pocket. Nice body work there. Connor from Dinko, uppercut left hook. Dinko doing a great job of covering the body and the head and responding immediately. And David just really struggling to find a way in here. <laughs> Uppercut left hook. That seems to be the poison of choice there for Dinko. To really fine-tune that combination, particularly when David Coxhead overextends, right? If you step in a little bit too deep off your combination, sometimes you're susceptible to being clipped. That's what Dinko was looking for. Dinko doing a great job of beating David to the punch there, sticking the jab in his face, looking for the uppercut, finishing with the left hook beautifully. And Dinko there really managing this distance perfectly and it could be alluded to the fact that the power's transferred there and David's worried about eating all of that power and going down to the canvas fastball right hand there from Dinko interesting to see David again coming back to his corner and he's got to find an answer here to get past the power punches and the jab of Dinko. He's got to use the head movement, threaten the overhand right, circle out of danger, use lateral movement, Chris, so he doesn't eat those heavy shots. So, Dean, talking about some of the things that both guys have done well, you like the fact that Dinko was being able to uh, kind of find headspace with those looping shots. It was interesting to see Coxhead work off that jab, try to move in, and, of course, land straight punches, but... Dinka, you know, Dinka was able to beat him with those looping shots over the straight punches of David. Yeah, the counter punching from Dinka, he's got a very fast lead hand. And when you see him drop that lead hand there, he's trying to invite David in to land those big uppercuts on the right hands. And he's doing it perfectly. An excellent game plan being executed here by Dinka. So third and final round here, exhibition fight. Dinko Pelic taking on David Coxhead. Both men know each other very well. Both men train at Sparta MMA. Coxhead 26, five foot seven. Dinko the elder by three years and a three inch height advantage as well. Overhand right there from Coxhead. It's been a bold performance, but standing in front of Dinko just doesn't seem to work too well. Nod there from Dinko, nice left hook there from Coxhead. Two to the body, good coverage on the exit. Bobbing and weaving here. Cox said trying to work forward, but coming straight in like that can get you clipped. That's been the problem the last couple of rounds. This is what David's got to do here. He's got to be careful about rolling too often because Dinko's going to sell up that uppercut. Big swing and a miss there from Dinko. And David again looking to get off first. And we need to see those check left hooks and the overhand rights here from David. There we go. There's the overhand right. He's just got to use the jab to gauge the distance, keep his head out of danger with movement and his hands up nice and high, and try and pin that overhand right. There we go, the right hand snuck through, the straight right there, and a smile and a nod from Dinko. Oi, big punch there from Dinko. Nice pull there from Dinko. He's trying to move his head back and pull counters. A smile. Coxcut. Oh, nice one too. Coxcut doing a great job there. The one thing Coxhead does so well is he anticipates the response from Dinko, right? Dinko throws, Coxhead comes back in, and he knows where Dinko's going to go. So both guys have kind of gauge each other out and sussed each other out in that fashion. David's found a home now for this left hook. He's going to try and work this off a roll. So he's going to roll to his left side, load up that left. Oh, wait, there's the overhand right. Beautiful. 10 
10 second clapper, left hook, right hand there from Dinko. Cox said to the body. A testament to David's chin. He's some heavy shots and he's not gone down. What a great fight between Dinko Pelic and David Cox. Said it was an exhibition fight, a glorified sparring match with Will Dean, but it was competitive. It was technically intriguing. Nice to see both guys get into the ring and make that walk tonight. And that just shows the spirit there in the Sparta camp. They came, they trained hard for this fight, and they still wanted to taste the fruits of battle. And they did it here in front of the crowd tonight. And, 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 and really, if you guys are watching at home, make sure that you're, you're following these guys on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And get behind these guys, because this camp goes far. Give us a share as well, Sparta Fight Series. Shout out to Luke Sampson, sitting at home. I'm sure he's got a Prosecco in hand watching the fights. Make sure you give it a share, Luke. And we will come for the decision, the decider of this fight here between David and Dinko. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, David Coxhead and Dinko Palich go the distance here tonight. This fight, as it's an exhibition, is a draw. Please give it up. Both guys coming in, lost their opponents. It was the Beast from the East 2.0 tonight. We had some car trouble. But both teammates wanted to make the walk tonight. An entertaining fight, lots of fun stuff there. So I'm gonna have a quick word here with Dinko and David. Guys, tonight, a lot of unexpected events, adverse weather conditions, shall we say. Dinko, I'm gonna ask you first. Unable to fight tonight, you took on David, a guy you know very well, your thoughts. Uh, first and foremost. Can everybody please, 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 please put your hands together for this boy. I give him a big round of applause because I'm like 14 kilos heavier than him, you know? And um, it, like you say, adverse weather conditions or whatever, um, you know, it, it was just, a, it was, was going to be a good challenge for me. Either way, it's a challenge fighting him because the way he moves, if he was heavier, it would be a very different story to what it would look like tonight. And uh, just nothing but respect to him and George. And um, also a big shout to, to Adam for putting this on together. I don't think I've seen a better show around here like this before for a first time as well. Massive respect. It's been a pleasure to train with all the guys despite not being able to do what, what I wanted to do. And, uh, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the show. Two more sick fights coming up. So it's been three months, man. Who wants to buy me a beer? Dinko Palace, ladies and gentlemen. David, I gotta ask you as well. Obviously, you came in here tonight. You used some tricky head movement. It seemed it was his looping punches versus your straight shots. How did you see it? Obviously, a disappointment in not being able to fight your original opponent. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's a big guy. So, uh, tried to try and stay away from them punches, but yeah, just not good enough tonight. But maybe next time. David, awesome. You just made a lot of Budo spirit here tonight. Fighters through and through. Dinko and David. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, David Coxhead. <laughs> 